Well, good morning. We've got good coffee, and we're going to get into the good word. Uh, good coffee is more reform roasters. That's our total depravity that we drink so much of around here. Mm. Always a great way to start a great day. You know, got, begin a, a little bit, I guess, kind of wax nostalgic. I think the the, the term is that. You know, I'm mean, in that age, you know, my early 50s, first grandchild coming. I'm beginning to look at things where we are and um, begin to look at our legacy and some of these things. We've talked about some of those in the past few days, you know, going forward. What's it look like for the for the future? Um, but something kind of was getting on to me this morning. I began to think about it. And it's just, okay, where are you at in your life now? Where do you Do you have any regrets? You know, some people say, you know, oh, I don't have any regrets. But do you really not have any regrets at all? What are the things you wish you would have done? I was listening to a story this morning about a young couple, and they're, I don't know, not even 30 yet, and they've been to 180 countries around the world. I'm like, good night. I said, I managed to check off Mexico and Canada. Um, <laughs> you know, where we regret that we haven't traveled, or what are our regrets in the life that we have and what we've done and not done? And it brought me this morning to, to Romans chapter 7, verse 15, and I, I go back to this verse pretty hard a couple of times a year. Paul speaks to me real strongly through this, and, and we know it's not Paul, it's the power of the Holy Spirit speaking through Paul. And it says in Romans 7, 15, I, I don't really understand myself, for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. <laughs> oh, come on, Paul. I don't understand myself. Uh, I want to do what is right, but but I don't do it. Instead, I do the things that I hate. Does that kind of resound a little bit maybe with you? And, and one way to do that is to be able to look at what are the things we devote to. If we begin to look at our uh, at our calendar and our checkbook, we used to talk about. And I don't think people even have physical calendars or physical checkbooks anymore. But we used to get do that and we could see where we thought we were spending our time and what was taking all of our our time and our money in. You know, we've been looking at a bunch of financial principles, and I was curious to kind of see where I was and some financial decisions I made at a young age and things that have delayed my opportunities. And now that I have at this age, as to what I can and can't do. So, also, I, I just don't understand myself. <laughs> you know, a lot of us as pastors have always said, I wish I had a mirror on the back wall at the church because I'm preaching to myself more than anyone else. I just don't understand myself. I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want this to turn into a, a negative assessment of where you are. I want you to look and see what can we do to to change it. I want to do what is right. Now I've got a, a friend of mine whose dad passed away just a few weeks ago, and I think my friend his his dad mantra always to with him pretty much was, "Look, whatever you do, do it right." That became his mantra, you know, do it right. So what are the things that God's laid on your heart that you're supposed to do, that you know to do? Uh, if you don't know what to do, go to Micah 6, 8, or look what Jesus told us, the things we need to do. Feed the hungry, care for those that are in need, the widows, the orphans, do those things. But whatever God's told you to do, do it right. Do it with all your heart. Lean into it. Um, whatever it is, don't be in the point where you're looking back with, with regret. <laughs> whatever God's told you to do, do it right. And we used to talk about do the right thing. Well, whatever that thing is, do it right. Do it with all your heart. I don't know what God has for you. I, I pray that he'll reveal it to you if you don't know, but I have a suspicion that you already know. But I pray that he gives you the faith and the, the guidance and, and the bravery to just do it and do it right. Let's pray that this morning. Father God, whatever you have for us, whatever you have for me, Lord God, for all of us in the sound of my voice, Lord God, give us that bravery to be able to go forward and do it today. And do it and do it right. <laughs> we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, you know God loves you. you got to know by now that I love you. I will tell you this. The right thing is for you to go out there and make sure someone knows that you love them as well. All right? Look, y'all have a great day with no regrets and do it right. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow.